alternate attires, renders, even money in the bank briefcases. We're covering everything RVD today on the show. And I'm gonna show you what you can do with RVD in WWE 2K22, let's go. So in WWE 2K22, RVD is one of the downloadable superstars in the whole damn pack. And he's probably one of the more popular stars that are available in this pack. Other than, of course, Mr. LA Knight. Yeah, Max Dupree, Eli Drake, dummy. Dummy. Yeah. Yeah. But I was so excited for RVD. One of the main reasons being that the amount of alternate attires that we can get for him in CUNY Creations is ridiculous already. And it's been out for like hours now. So to get yourself started with RVD and some alternate attires, head into Community Creations and look for the creator No DQ Creations 10620. He has multiple, multiple RVD packs available for you to download. A ton of just classic ones, classic versions. Because these packs were his attires have four attires in them. For me, I, I just copied one over that I liked for his slot one and for slot two as his alternate attires. But I love the ones that No DQ Creations has put together here. Make sure you go and check them out. Now, you can't stop there. Now, nah, now, nah. the next thing you need to do is get yourself some RVD renders in the game. One of the creators that does an amazing job with their HD renders is going to be Big Chris Spirito. Big Chris does all of these HD renders and currently he has three available for RVD for you to use as alternate attire renders. The other one that you can check out too is going to come from Sangraf, who has what was the whole damn pack My Faction card image they use, the rendered image they originally have for RVD, where he has his red singlet on. You can get that one too from Sangraf 53819. But again, shop around because there is a ton of them in there that you can do. Now, we're gonna take a look at some Money in the Bank briefcases because RVD was really, really ahead of his time when it came to the Money in the Bank briefcase. When he won Money in the Bank, he didn't just have a black briefcase or a green one. He designed that whole thing and he made it look super cool. So searching for Money in the Bank briefcases, custom ones, you can search by RVD and everyone and anyone has the Money in the Bank briefcase with the RVD logo on it and that design. Grab one of these and then assign it to RVD as Mr. Money in the Bank. And then test out having RVD come out with that Money in the Bank briefcase. It really all ties together and it looks awesome. Now, sticking with Money in the Bank and RVD, look at adjusting RVD's Money in the Bank entrance. There is no specific one for him, which is really unfortunate. They have the generic one where he comes in and it's fine, but mess around with a bunch of different ones to see if there's any ones that you like. There's a lot of motions that you can choose from. I've even tested out Edge and I didn't think it was too bad. Motion number five is pretty good, but try out a bunch of different entrances for Money in the Bank and see if you can switch it up for RVD. Now, because we get RVD in this game finally, we can recreate some really just awesome moments, capture like his matches between him and Jeff Hardy. It was one of the classic ones that I loved in his early WWE run. So of course, test out different entrances, different matches with RVD against different opponents to see if you're gonna get any specific commentary with that. He gets it at WrestleMania, obviously. They talk about him and Jeff Hardy a little bit when they're having a match together. It's really cool. For the superstars to ever compete in ladder matches, Jeff Hardy holds the record of attendance at 12 appearances and seven victories. Yeah, the closest would be Rob Van Dam at six appearances and five victories. And with that, one of the best moves you can do with RVD is the Van Daminator. Grab a chair from under the ring, get up to your opponent, and just hit A or X on your controller, and you'll initiate the Van Daminator. It's really well done. More often than not, I found that I was busting my opponent open with the Van Daminator on the first shot. I did this to Cena, I did it to Jeff Hardy, I did it to Batista, and he just, they were all bleeding. It was great. Not only that, but try a comeback move because he has the short arm clotheslines that he's known for and he ends up doing a kick at the very end. It looks really good. On top of that, his other signature moves and his finisher moves, they're designed really well and I will give 2K credit for capturing all of this. I think they did a really good job with his rolling senton that he does, his top rope drop kick that he does, his single leg looks really good. RVD's got his split leg and moonsault. And of course, you can't forget about the coast to coast. Check this out. Stomping away in the corner. No, you don't think. What on earth is, what are they trying to do? I think we know exactly what. Gonna take a trip. Coast to coast. It could be all over for Batista. 
I looked at all the other frog splashes you can do, and I really didn't feel like any of them really nailed it, like the five star frog splash. Oh, but the other cool move you can do is that if you have your finisher stored, get your opponent to the outside announce table, and RVD can pull off a top rope moonsault to the opponent on the outside. It looks awesome. Oh my God, on the table. What on earth does he have planned here? A little birdie told me bad things are coming this way. time fan favor that we got with RVD in this game. Do me a favor, check out this episode right here covering all the patch updates, all the news for 2K22 and subscribe to the show. See ya.